Hey, it's Roger once again, Mud Fossil University, changing physics completely 100% in under two minutes. Now, this is playing with a tractor beam magnet toy. This is by Lathamon's Crazy Machines. Now, this is what's going on here. They took a brass ring with six neobidnium magnets. These are negative pol polarity type of, of magnet. Now, so they have a ring. Now, he takes a, this, which is the positive type of a heavy core, and puts it in the center of these negatives. So you got three bigger magnets in the center with an opposite direction of magnetivity. Now, look at this. This right there, boom. Quantum physics explained. This is electron flood explained. He just created a nuclear core, which is electron flooded. No nuclear, no neutrons. No neutrons at all. There's enough electrons surrounding the positive core that the positive core is still attractive in a huge range. But the negativity exceeds the new incoming negativity and keeps that negativity at a distance from the flooded core because the flooded core has become net negative. Now, the additional incoming electrons will surround this and create orbitals in extremely elegant patterns because this will say, stay away from me, and you over there, stay away from me. Exact distances, and any more come out here, stay way out here, and the next one stay out here until it exceeds the, the positiveness that holds them in the surrounding orbitals. Now, this accounts for every single electronic interaction every single one i can account for every single one and i'm going to show you all the things are big mysteries oh the big mystery can't figure this out it's all figure out it's 100 percent easy once you say there is no neutrons in that core none zero and there's no neutrons anywhere then you have to also realize second thing i'm going to show you next is that light is quite easily accelerated. Between those two things, we have a whole new model in physics. By the way, as he shakes this, you see it'll stay with that forever until it gets vibrated from excitation. When it gets excited, it becomes hot because it's pushing all these other electrons that are surrounding it and they become glowy and excited. That is the nature of them, and I will show you in the next one. Now, as this becomes so excited, it goes flying away. That is what we would call light. So as it leaves its orbital, just like they leave from the sun, it is light. However, it is still a particle. It is not just a wave in space of nothing. This is light from a red laser, pulsed. Bup, 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 bup. The only part of the light is here, right in the dead center. There's one little tiny particle beam going straight to the center. And I'll show you how I can prove that. All right, from the research we did on accelerating light, that red laser beam now has accelerated. It's a stretched wave. Nobody can tell me that that's not acceleration. It left as red laser light. Light is light. This is extremely accelerated light. That is the beam of the particle beam that I spoke about. This disturbance is concussion from that cutting through the particles in space in our atmosphere. And those particles are loaded with extra electrons which own regions. And as these progress through those regions, they concuss. And they continue to concuss because they are forcing themselves through a venturi, a simple venturi, two pins of steel. As they approach, they cannot force enough particles through quick enough to get out of each other's ways. They begin to concuss, explode with magnetic repulsion. And that repulsion is seen in these waves right here. And you can see them quite evidently. Enormous repulsion waves from the interaction at this venturi. And this venturi is creating the visibleness of the particles. All right, so you can see the particles actually concussing. Because they own a region around them. The particle itself is, 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 is unseen. However, the region around it is not to be violated. When it is, it glows and it heats, and, and that's what you see. And these little tiny white particles, if you can see those, 
those are all the free electrons that are floating in the air. It's, it's nothing more than electrons that are free and they float around in the air attached primarily to water molecules and when they you become more attractive to them than the surrounding air which is moist they will come to you and then eventually you will discharge them to ground they always want to get to the earth and remember that because the earth is a positive attractive source it will take every electron that it can get and every time you put electricity near the ground it will go to ground that's why they say ground things all right, I'm not going to go deep in it now, but we are going to get extremely deep in, all the way as deep as you can get, all the way to isotopes and nuclear radiation, the decay sequences and all the daughter decays. Everything can be explained electron flood. Elf theory, electron flood variables. The mass, electron mass unit weight is going to be changed now. There's going to be a new electron mass unit because it's a nucleon. It's not half of a a neutron and a proton there is no such thing as a neutron so it's going to be a new new nucleon now this is also the spin yes there is a spin up and down I agree with that it spins one way and the other and I have seen that and I can show you that in our experiments the speed of the particle is variable showing you that the density of the media penetrated through which is ether which is the particles in space that I just showed you sitting around hanging around in the moisture of space is the density and that is the ether and it's out in outer space too it's in a vacuum of space there is no blankness out there it is loaded with light particles the particles I showed you that those little white concussed particles they are all through space they are unseen because they're not concussing that's, that's all. Now, the motion of the media penetrated into space is something we have to take into effect, and the density of that. Now, protons are half the charge of what they say, because if now the, what I'm saying is right, and it is, the core is not neutron loaded, it is electron loaded. So, the p neutrons are gone, that means that a, an atom of hydrogen who has, they say it had one hydrogen proton. Well, it doesn't have a one proton and one uh, a negative particle. They would just collapse to each other. It has a negative and a positive in the core, and I'm going to show you that in our pictures of light. And it, it pushes away the electron to hang around outside of that, that unit, which I showed you how they make the, a positive and a negative core. So, all of this is very, very simple. And then this is the new equation. E equals the mass times, and these are all factors. The mass times the, the spin times the speed times the density of the mass it's in times the movement of the mass it's in. And then there's a couple other factors that relate to other things. But we're going to get in extremely, extremely deep. All right, so stay tuned. This is, this is part one, and it's going to go until we get to the parting of the seas.